Hey, this is Rocket Brain Surgeon, and we're looking at countering Boom and Zoom. Boom and Zoom is the strongest way to play in the game right now. However, the questions arise of how do you deal with it? Are there any defense mechanisms that we can do? What if the other guy is just faster and climbs higher than you do in your own Boom and Zoom plane? I'm in the XP-77, a turn and burn plane, and this is a tier 6 battle with a lot of energy fighters on the other side. I'm going to set up the dodge right about here. Notice that I dodge down because I don't lose as much speed when I go down. And I also make sure to keep my speed in the bright green zone. After the dodge, I immediately try to turn around to get shots on my opponent. I've picked up another enemy who is giving some shots at me, so I'm engaging in some random defensive maneuvers, which there was no real rhyme or reason there, I was just spinning around in circles. And when he passes you, that's when you have to be quick on the ball and try to get on his tail. This BF-109E is trying to turn fight me, which is definitely not the right strategy he should be pursuing. He should be disengaging a little bit farther away and then taking long swinging passes at me. He finally figures out that turn fighting isn't going to work, but he burned off so much energy that when he tries to escape into the vertical, uh, he can't get too far. However, I can't even catch him when he's up there because this thing is terrible at climbing. Notice that I didn't try to chase him any farther because that risks a stall. I want to make sure I keep my speed up at all times, and I just have to accept that up there he's pretty much untouchable to me. As the game goes farther, all of the energy fighters are slowly going to come down as they burn off all their energy and their boost gets used up just through mixed maneuvers, and you can see that the cloud of fighters that I approached early in the game now has come down either to chase targets or because of that general energy loss. So at the start of the game the energy fighters are going to have their largest advantage over you because they'll have the highest energy at that point. Now watch what happens when this P-58 comes down. I try to aim for the apex when he goes up and I get him when he comes up. I don't try to get him at the lowest point of his dive, I try to get him on the way up. So if an energy fighter dips below you, continue to stay above him. Altitude is still an advantage for a turn and burn fighter. Keep him down below you. Every time he tries to come up, just shoot him. Like this Spitfire, I know he's coming up so I don't follow him down, I don't cut the throttle. I get them on the way up, that's when they're at their most vulnerable. You don't sustain the accuracy penalty of the upward dispersion mechanic, and they are slowing down because they're climbing. It is the perfect situation for you. If you think it looks like the battle is just kind of happening around me, you would be right. This is kind of the feeling that you get with a turn and burn plane at the moment here. Dodge down, by the by, and switch around. I screw up the counterattack, so I'm not able to get uh, as many shots on him here as I would like. Let's sum it up. First, keep the speed within the bright green range at all times. This gives you the maximum amount of maneuverability. Dodge down. This gains speed rather than loses speed. A slower target is easier to hit. A boom and zoom plane can't really turn that tightly, so you should be able to know where they are headed, roughly speaking, and turn towards that location before they do. Countering boom and zoom is easy peasy, right? Not exactly. A good boom and zoom plane can still counter this. And here we are encountering a very good boom and zoom player. I'm in the P40, which is a boom and zoom plane myself, but my opponent, Wrecker Pro, is in the 110E, which is just a faster, better climbing plane. Remember I said catch him on the way up. Well, what Wrecker is doing is he's not giving me that opportunity, so I dodge fairly okay. He's not dropping down. He's just sniping me from long range and starting his climb before he even gets to me. So there is no up. I literally can't touch him when he's doing this. 
The reason why he's being so cautious is because he knows that my plane can keep up with his plane in horizontal speed. On that one, he actually takes out my engine, so I repair my engine, and then I get the idea of, you know what, not only can I keep my speed within the optimum range, I can keep my altitude within the op optimal range, and so I drop down to dodge his next pass. This little cat and mouse game is exactly what I wanted to achieve. My platoon mate, Dr. Lunchmeat, is actually cleaning up the enemy team, and our only threat is from Wrecker. So I want to fly kind of a prevent defense against him. He can take snipe shots at me all day, but he's going to lose the game before he kills me. I'm trying to creep underneath him as well to make his dives steeper. Notice the effect, his dive had to come down a lot farther. And if I was just about 100 meters lower within my optimal range, I could have actually gotten some shots on him. So even if I counter his dives correctly, he's still holding all the cards. He still will be able to nibble at me and kill me at some point, but right now he just does not have the time. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you can put it into practice in your games. There's a lot of energy fighters running around right now and you can get some good practice in dodging. Happy hunting.